I sometimes wonder if people who review products and other things, do they still use them well after the video has dropped on YouTube? And I know I get that question sometimes about the items that I've reviewed, and I've reviewed a lot of different products over the last two plus years. And so what I thought I would do is that I would answer the question, what are some of the products that I reviewed that I still use on a regular basis? So first and foremost, let's define regular basis. These aren't necessarily items that are used on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. I didn't want to like really narrow in on what a regular basis was because some items are used daily. Some of these items are just used weekly or monthly. It just depends on what I'm doing. And so what I did is I kind of went through the, the videos that I've done over the last couple of years of items that I reviewed, and I compiled a list here in this field notes notebook um, of the top 10 items that I use on a regular basis. And then I, I wanted to take it a little bit further, so I've included three honorable mentions. So what we're gonna do is we'll start with an honorable mention, I'll sprinkle those throughout, and we'll go 10 to number one. And these are in the order that I think I think that they, they matter the most to what I do. Honorable mention number one is the Rockware RC08 webcam. I do use this on a daily basis in my nine to five job. I love the picture quality that I get off of it. I love the fact that it has a little slider so I can turn it on and off so people can see me or not see me. I love the audio quality that comes from the microphone and the speaker. It's just a great little webcam that you know, serves me very well in my nine to five. Along those same lines, the number 10 item that I've reviewed in the last couple of years that I do use also, again, on a daily basis, is the Rexing dash cam. And it just gives me that added sense of security that if I get in an accident, I have proof to either show what I did wrong or hopefully more preferably what somebody else did wrong and protect me from, you know, from the he said, she said, he said, he said kind of thing. And speaking of security, Number nine is actually the Vizuyi solar powered security camera that I have on the outside of the house. I love this thing. Again, I use it every day. I check it all the time. I actually had an incident uh, several months ago where we had a dumpster out front of the house and some guys decided to go dumpster diving. Granted, all they were looking for were like nails and just a bunch of random crap. Um, but if they had decided to then, you know, venture into the backyard through the fence or something, I would have had them on camera and it just gives me that added sense of security and knowledge that I can protect myself if needed. This next item, number eight, it is the Suit Photo Tube Light. The cool thing about this, I love tube lights, number one, but the cool thing about this is I actually used this, ooh, that's bright. Um, I used this as both a primary light as well as a fill light for the longest time. When I was trying to get, when I was trying to up my lighting game, this became my key light for a while. Then it got bumped to a fill light. And now I'm trying to figure out with a new lighting setup that I'm testing out today, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, do, do I want to put something for behind? Do I use this in place of the Aperture MC lights? The Suit Photo TP25 RGB tube light is my number eight item that I have reviewed in the last couple of years and absolutely love and still use. And that takes us into number seven. And this is, again is another item that I do use on a regular basis daily basis, and that is the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Everyday Travel Bag. I love this bag right down to the fact that you can see the skull and crossbones there and the stitching. I think it's the perfect size bag for me because I'm able to use this, like I said, on a daily basis where I take my camera, two lenses, all my hard drives, and my laptop with me to and from the office. I'm able to then use it also on quick overnight trips or weekend trips. It's got enough room in the attic space to put some clothes in. It's held up in rain. It's held up being thrown in and out of the truck. It protects all my gears and it's probably been the best bag that I have ever used. And that brings us to our second honorable mention. And this one I feel is a little contentious. Um, it is actually the Luxium Watches. And I haven't actually reviewed this one in particular. I did a review for the Luxium Crusader watch, but when I hear budget smartwatch, this does what I expect it to do. Would I love for it to be able to do uh, voice commands to make a phone call and not just receive a phone call? Absolutely, that would actually be a pretty cool, cool little feature. But 
for the price, for what it does, I can't be unhappy with my experience for it. So while I know that they're not for everybody, I have to say that my honorable mention number two goes to Luxium smartwatches because they're just a great budget option. Number six is one that I was super stoked when I got chosen for this because when I got the packaging, it just felt so official. Like, man, you really done something where a company wants to partner with you. And that is with Shift Cam, particularly Shift Cam's ultra lenses for cell phones. Now, the iPhone 14 Pro, the iPhone 15, all these new smartphones, they, they already take amazing photos and videos. We know that. But these lenses, like the 60 millimeter telephoto, the 16 millimeter wide angle, it has two macro lenses. And these allow me to get such great photos and video, if nothing else, just from memories. The shift cam ultra lenses are just an awesome, awesome feature to add to your cell phone photography or video. And now we break into my top five Technically six because we have one more honorable mention, but my top five items that I've reviewed in the last couple of years. And this spot, the number five spot, is reserved for Seven Rhymes microphones. I'm actually using the DW30 right now. So all four, four? Yeah, all four Seven Rhymes microphones that I have uh, tested have just been so awesome, easy to use, and I love the quality and the price isn't bad. I started with the DW20, and I actually gave that to my friend John because I knew the DW, that I would buy the DW30. Um, the DW20 has treated John very well. It upped his audio quality. The DW30 has been pretty much my go-to microphone for anything that I do, quote unquote, in studio. But along the same lines, I also love the Seven Rhymes mini shotgun mic. This is what I used in all my shed build videos to get my talking heads when I didn't want to put a, a lav mic on, when I was trying to get some great gnat sounds for that process. This little shotgun mic has been absolutely amazing during that. And then recently when I went to Las Vegas, I took the uh, Seven Rhymes uh, cell phone, I can't remember what exactly it's called, but it's the Seven Rhymes cell phone microphones and the quality that I got out of that was even better. I was so stoked with how that did for vlogging that experience. So uh, number five for me is a shout out kudos to Seven Rhymes Microphones. The number four spot for me is Aperture MC lights. And in particular, the Aperture MC four light travel kit, which the four lights are back there. And then I've got the fifth one that I own here, but these are just great lights. They are great accent lights. As you can see with the colors, they're great. Fill lights if you need them for you know just an added little bit of fill somewhere. Um, they're also even good little key lights. They're great if you uh, put them on top of the camera and you've got it vlogging style. It can give you that added little bit of light. But I just love the versatility, especially the fact that they have magnets on the back here. So my number four spot is Aperture MC lights, particularly the Aperture MC four light travel kit. The number three spot is aptly named for the Insta360 X3. This is just an awesome action camera. I honestly think that it's probably the number one action camera from, what was it, 2022 when it was released? And I have absolutely loved implementing this into, you know, into my workflow. Mostly it's used when I went skiing, when I go kayaking, and you just don't have to worry about, is it framed right? Am I getting decent footage? Because if you work at it, this can give you amazing footage with just a couple clicks. And so my number three spot is the Insta360 X3. And now into the final three items that I reviewed in the last couple of years that I use on a regular basis. And we're gonna start with my final honorable mention. And honestly, this is one that I wanted to put higher, but I don't know, I just, it, it ended up where it ended up. And so my honorable mention, my top honorable mention is Canon cameras, particularly the Canon EOS R and the 7D. Um, these two have been absolute workhorses for me over the last few years. Um, the R was actually my first new, you know, camera. It was my first mirrorless camera, but it was my first new digital camera since the 7D came out in like 2009. So I would have bought that in like 2010. And I know everybody has their individual preferences. You have Nikon users, you have people who are like me who love Canon um, that aren't sponsored by Canon, but have, you know, had what? The Rebel, the 40, the 7, the R, the R5, you know, just numerous 
Canon cameras, and then you have your Sony users. So my honorable mention number one is to just the, the workhorses that the 70 and the R have been for me, and I love these cameras still, even though I've upgraded to the R5. So that brings us to the final two products that I've reviewed in the last couple of years that I just, I absolutely love and I use on a regular basis. Uh, number two for me is the Tagri wireless Bluetooth earbuds that I reviewed. Again, I was given these by my wife on Father's Day a couple of years ago, and I still use these on a daily basis. I love these. Um, I love the sound quality from both the uh, microphone that I can use to talk to people, but also the audio that I get while, while I'm listening to podcasts and music. Um, I love that the case can wirelessly charge just by setting it down and that it has a USB-C. Um, and this thing has taken some hits. Uh, like a lot of people, I have a bad habit of reaching into my pockets, pulling something out, and these just go flying, and yet this thing is just kicking, but the battery in this thing lasts for forever for me. The audio quality is amazing, and it comes in at a really great price. So number two for me is these wireless earbuds, Bluetooth wireless earbuds by Tagri. And the number one item that I've reviewed that I use on a regular basis, that I swear by, that I love, I don't think it should be any surprise because I love this product and it has been used in so many of my videos. Um, and actually I only just recently had to upgrade from it, but it is the DJI Mini 2. And I know that there are the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 lines are out. You've got the Air 3 and just all kinds of drones have come out since this. But for me, the Mini 2 really got me into drone video work and it shoots just an amazing picture for the size of the camera. It does 4K 30. Um, you can do all kinds of great things with this. And while it doesn't have the sensors that the three and the four have, um, I think that's a good thing because I love the fact that the Mini 2 it doesn't allow you to take a moment off where you're not paying attention to the trees and the buildings and everything. Um, you're still truly flying this and it's just a great learning tool. So if you're looking to break into drone photography and video, I highly recommend going on to Facebook Marketplace, eBay, wherever, and picking up a used Mini 2 because again, you also can't beat the price. It has really dropped since the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 have come out. Um, but I, I wanted number one to be the DJI Mini 2 because this has just been such an awesome drone for me. And it's been a great video for my channel too. So, and if you're interested in learning more about any of these products that I've kind of just glossed over, I've dropped two links for each product down in the description. One is to the product page, as well as one to the video that I did about each of these products. And then I've divided this video up into chapters so it's easier to find where each of those products are. If you like this video, if you found it informative, I hope that you'll hit that like button and I will catch you in another video.